everyone you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is 2 to power x this is equal to x to power that 2 what is the value of x now let's prevent the solution from here we have 2 to power x this is equal to x to power 32 now the first thing to do here let's multiply here by 1 over x so that we can eliminate the we need to put variable x and the constant terms the variable x on one side and the constant terms on the on the other side so to do this we multiply both signs by 1 over x so times here by 1 over x so here we have x and x simplifies so that here we have 2 this is equal to x to power that 2 raised to power 1 over x so x to power that 2 raised to power 1 over x this is in the form of a to power n raised to power m which we can express as a to power m raised to power n applying this exponent property then here we have 2 is equal to x raised to power 1 over x raised to power that 2 the next step is to multiply both signs by 1 over 32. So let's multiply both signs by 1 over 32. So that 2 and that 2 here simplifies. So that here we have x raised to power 1 over x. This is equal to 2 raised to power 1 over 32. The next step is that the base here, which is x, is the same as the exponent x so we need to ensure that the base here is also equal to the exponent here so to do that we have that 2 raised to power 1 over that 2 we can express this as 2 to power 1 times 1 over that 2 we can express 1 as 2 over 2 so substituting this we'll have x to power 1 over x this is equal to 2 raised to power 2 times 1 over 2 times that 2 so this implies that here we have x to power 1 over x this is equal to 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 over 2 times that 2 which is 64 the next step from here we have x to power 1 over x this is equal to 2 squared, which is 4, this to power 1 over 64. Now, again, we can express this as 4, this to power 1 times 1 over 64. So, we can express 1 again here as 2 over 2. So, this implies that x to power 1 over x, this is equal to 4, this to power 2, multiplying by 1 over 2 times 64 so here we have x to the power 1 over x this is equal to 4 squared which is equal to 16 raised to the power 1 over 2 times 64 which is 128 now again here we can express this as 16 raised to the power 1 times 1 over 128 so the next step from here, we have x to the power 1 over x. This is equal to 16 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 times 128. So this implies that x to the power 1 over x, this is equal to 16 squared, which is 256 raised to the power 1 over 2 times 128 this is 256 so clearly you can see that the base here and the exponent here is the same so this surfaces the condition that here the base and the exponent is the same so this implies that x is equal to 256 so this is the value of x the next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows so let's verify that the value of x which is 256 satisfies the equation 
Now, if you recall from here, we have that 2 to power x, this is equal to x to power part 2. Substituting a value of x, we'll have 2 to power 256. This is equal to x, which is 256, this to power part 2. The next step is that 2 to power 256, this is equal to 256. 256 can be expressed as 2 to power 8. So we have 2 to power 8 raised to power that 2. So 2 to power 8 raised to power that 2. This is in the form of a to power n raised to power m, which we can express as a raised to power n times m. Now applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power 256. This is equal to 2 to the power 8 times 32. So this implies that here we have 32 times 8. So 8 times 2 here, this is 16. So 6 carry 1. Then 8 times 3, this is 24 plus 1. This is 25. So this is 256. So this implies that 2 raised to power 256, this is equal to 2 to the power 256. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is 256, satisfies the equation. So can you refer the steps like this video? and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.